Now for this part of the question then, we're told that there's 30% of the children get a certificate if they run less than a particular time. And this particular time we've got to find out. I've called it X2. And I've added it to my diagram as you can see here. So we've got to find this shortest time that it takes to get a certificate. So we start off then with the probability that x is less than x2 equals 0 0.30, the 30%. And that means that if I add this to my diagram here on the standardized normal distribution, the probability of being less than z2, that must be the same as what we've got here, 30%. So therefore, we can just put this in, the probability of z being less than z2 well, that's got to equal 0.30. Now, we know that Z2 is given by the corresponding observed value, X2, minus the mean, which is 16.12, and divide that by the standard deviation, sigma, 1.60. So we can get x2 then if we only know z2. So how do we get z2? Well, we've got this fact here. And what we can do is turn to inverse normal tables, tables that look like this. But they give the area to the right of z. And z is on the positive side of 0, not as we've got over here. So to get around this problem, what we can do is say, well, OK, we know that Z2 is a negative number here. If we mirror it across the other side of this axis here, then we've got the probability that Z is greater than negative Z2. OK, that's got to also be 0 0.30. This bit, just to enlighten you again on this, suppose this Z2 value was, say, minus 0 0.3. Then when I look at this value over here, it would be minus, minus 0 0.3. It would give us plus 0 0.3. So that's why I've put a minus on this side here. It is a positive value because Z2 is a negative value. So all we've got to do then is look in the tables the inverse normal tables look for a p-value of being 0 0.30. You'll fact see 0 0.3000 and against that you'll have 0.5244. Let's just put that in 0.5244. So that gives us our z-value for that. That will correspond to minus Z2. So we can say that therefore from tables what we've got is minus Z2 equals 0.5244 and that means that therefore Z2 will be the negative number minus 0.5244 and we can substitute it into this equation and therefore get that minus 0.5244 for Z2 equals X2 minus 16.12 all divided by 1.60. And if you rearrange that now by multiplying both sides by 1.60 and adding 16.12, you therefore have X2 equals 16.12 minus 1.60 multiplied by 0.5244. And that comes to a value of 15.28096 and so on. So let's round that up, say, to two decimal places. Then what we get is 15.28 to 2 dp, two decimal places. Okay.